today I'm back with another bullet journal video and it is for the month of March. I can't believe that we're already in <laughs> the third month of the year. Almost a quarter of the year, year has already gone. Um, last month I did a cover page like this one um, and then left the left page blank. Um, and this month I thought I would do some sort of mood board to fit in with the this month's theme But I felt that it might be too much um, In too far see whereas leaving it blank is empty <laughs> I do tend to jump from one extreme to the other pretty quick and I usually settle settle in the middle um, I guess you could say it's it's a process of mine um, anyhow, I drew this pattern, although it looks like a QR code, it is actually a structural plan for a ziggurat. Uh, more, more on that in just a moment. Um, the cover page is actually of the remains of a ziggurat that is still existing today, um, with Archie Fox having a nosy about what it is. The title March, and then in hopefully if the internet says I'm correct, the Sumerian um, typeface for the word March. But I thought th they were quite um, interesting um, shapes that form the letters. Th In case you haven't guessed, this is the month of Sumerian architecture. Um, Archifax now finds himself surrounded by Sumerian architecture. Um, the Sumerians were creating sophisticated works of architecture in the 4th millennium BC, almost wholly constructed of mud in, uh, mud brick um, and used arches, domes and vaults. I think they were one of the first ones to do so. Um, Most of what the Sumerians built was huge staircases of mud brick, which they called ziggurats. Each little city-state would build its own ziggurat, um, partly to please the gods and partly to show how powerful the town was. On top of each ziggurat there was a small temple to a particular god that they were worshipping at the time. Um, this is a pencil drawing that I found on the internet and decided that I liked so much I didn't want to like do my own version of it because I just like the way it is so much and then I put it on some craft paper and did some more of the symbols just to break up the um, plainness of the craft paper this is my um, at a glance looking at um, a couple of the months ahead because I'm very bad at planning the things so I need to sort of physically write down things that I've got upcoming to continuously remind myself and to plan for them and prepare for whatever that may be and then on this side I leave it blank so I can fill in my mainly to do's of what I need to cover this month and hopefully complete in the month um, this is just a line drawing of a little bit more detail in a play on the shadows in the um, contrast so it's not so you can see that they're not just flat brick, uh, mud brick walls. Moving on. This is my monthly setup. Um, normally I don't do a grid layout, but I felt that I'd give it a go this month and see how I get on. Um, but I like that I can, I did some extra detailing on the actual wood, uh, wood mud brick walls with the little openings um, because the mud brick buildings um, would look pretty boring if they just had straight walls all brown so the builders at the time made the buildings look more interesting by creating these areas of dark and light on their walls the walls of Sumerian temples and palaces went in and out at regular intervals as you can see here, uh, in making a sort of pattern of shadows. Now onto my weekly setups. Um, 
I finally got round to when I put my inspiration boards in of mentioning what it is and who it's by or as far as Instagram allows me to let it know who it's by if it's wrong please do correct me um, I have my trackers above and just a mini calendar to again be conscious of time and dates you'd be amazed at how quick they go away from me um, and then in the middle to write my daily to do's um, I have a little box here for the week's main objective like the particular task that I really need to focus on and then moved my notes page from there to there then on this side I have a project update so at the end of the week I'll stick um, an image here of whatever particular project I'm working on and then a little detailed description and then also at the end of the uh, uh, week I will put a memory of something that happened during the week so it's sort of like a little journal as well but more visual as opposed to just writing lists and paragraphs and then for week 11 it's pretty much the same thing um, as you can see I've cut into the top so the track is in the mum's always visible and obviously I think these are called Dutch doors I think um, just for the weekly to do's and then week 12 is pretty much the same as well and then week 13 as well like I said before I do like to put my inspiration in um, at the beginning so I've sort of can just get inspired hopefully and, do, and make some wonderful works of art well works of architecture um, so that's it for this month um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, please subscribe if you want to see more and in the meantime happy architecting